Obviously, it's a product that people want to see. So you've got at least 30 years left, Barry. 30? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see that, but you know what? I'll be back when I'm 80, all right? Will you have us? Will you still be here? Oh, well, I don't know about that. Anyway, let's, you're going to do a couple of songs tonight, so what's, what's the first one? Uh, we'll do Substitute, and, uh, well, let's just get on with it. OK, The Hooligans live uh, on the show tonight. Think we look pretty good together You think my shoes are made of leather But I'm a substitute for another guy I look pretty tall but my heels are high A simple thing to see you all complicated Look bloody young but I'm just spectated, yeah Substitute your lies for facts I see right through your plastic mac I look all white but my dad was black The fine looking suits really made out of sack I was born with a plastic spoon in my mouth The north side of my town faced east And the east was facing south and I dare to look me in the eye Those crocodile tears are what you cry It's a genuine problem you won't try You're working out tall, you're just passing by, passing by Substitute me for him Substitute my coat for Jim Substitute you for my mom At least I'll get my washing done But I'm a substitute for another guy I look pretty tall but my heels are high Spectated, yeah. Substitute me for him. I substitute my coat for gin. Substitute you for my mum. At least I'll get my washing done. I substitute your lies for facts. I see right through your plastic mac. I look all white, but my dad was black. A fine looking suit's really made out of sack. Substitute from the Hooligans playing live on the show. And you know, actually, when you sing Barry, you look even more like Roger than just. <laughs> I, I, there's right? something about it when you. I don't know, you must go, go even more into the part. But, I uh, don't. It, I honestly don't try to. It, it, I don't know, it just happens. What can I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> well, you, just, you become him. I, I guess. Yeah. I mean, and you, I mean, you, you, you Pete Townsend and Keith. Kind of have a, a definite look, don't they? Right, yeah. I'm yeah. not sure about John Entwistle. Well, <laughs> he plays like John Entwistle. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, me. no, I just mean looks-wise. Oh, so. I... <laughs> so I mean, we uh, work on the looks, you know. It's, it's part of the whole thing, the tribute. You have to have the right gear, the right outfits, everything. So. Yeah, we've got, like, the same equipment from back in the day, the high watch, you know, and we tr try to use Premier drums and... And get things done, you know, the dress-wise, uh, you know, got the frills from, you know, the whole Woodstock era thing. He wears a white boiler suit and stuff like that. So we do dress the part as well as, uh, well, we just, we play the complete, and, and, and complete do you, thing. Do you act the part? Oh, yeah, I talk a bit like that on, <laughs> on stage, right? Because, you know, it's... It's all theatre, though. It's it's rock theatre, is mm -hmm. what it is. So try to take people to back to a place in the 70s. If they didn't get out to see The Who then, they can see it now. So for two hours, we like to give people escapism, really. Mm. You know, and pretend, 
pretend think that they're at the Who concert back in the 70s. And I guess, I mean, you, you'll get, I, I suppose, a very varied audience, people who grew up with the band and uh, people who were too young to see them. And, and We and have a, an age group, I mean, I've seen 10-year-old kids there to 80-year-old people. It's it's just the range is unbelievable. It's um it's fantastic really, introducing a whole new younger generation to the Who, mm. and um, y you know as years go by, I mean the kids are looking at the Who as alternative to what's going on, you know, and it's, guitar rock seems to be making a comeback, you know. I mean, uh, and the Who were uh, just it guitar wise. I mm. mean Pete Townsend. I mean that's a that's all I got to say, Pete Townsend, and that tells you he's influenced so many people. And if you listen to those those old records, they still sound very fresh, don't they? Oh yes, they do. I, I mean, mean so, some music dates, but it doesn't, does it? Doesn't get old. No, I mean, you know, I've been singing these songs as I say for twenty six years. It doesn't get old for me, and it doesn't. And it's we don't make any money really at this thing. If I was doing it for the money, I would have quit long, long time ago. Right, I'm off. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you know, I'll throw a few you, bob You're not getting paid tomorrow night. <laughs> Gets paid in beer. <laughs> and and, and uh, what, what about the, the whole kind of guitar smashing thing? Do you, yes, oh, yeah, oh. yeah. Go ahead, John. Uh, yeah, uh, that is done. Uh, you know, it's part of the act. Uh, people expect it. It's not every time, so we can't say when we're going to do it. Um, but uh, we do bring guitars ready, and uh, mayhem usually ensues. Uh, innocent people get uh, hurt sometimes, or innocent gear, I should say. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, oh, it depends largely on the audience feedback too, which is so far has been fantastic. I mean, you know, um, can't afford to do it every night, yeah. as we say, and it all depends on the enthusiasm of the crowd. Of the going mad and they've been great all night. I mean, sometimes we just get car carried away and just do it. Whether there's you know, twenty or twenty thousand, it doesn't matter. We just we get into that adrenaline and and just get into that mode and away you go, you know. Mm. So it's uh, I'd like to smash a guitar, but I never get around. I don't get to <laughs> you, do that. But you swing the mic round. I swing the yeah. mic, yeah, yeah. yeah so <laughs> that's he's about not, the he's not doing that here tonight. I'm <laughs> so no, they, that you won't let me. Tricky. <laughs> Knock the DJ out with the mic. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? Right. Um, what, what, do you live the lifestyle afterwards then? Too old for that. Man. <laughs> Come on. We well, used to. we used we what, used to. What about this Keith Moon man? We used to. I'm quiet. Talk to <laughs> he, no, he, he can get out of hand. Trust me. No, but, you know, I mean, <laughs> we don't carry it that far to the extent. I mean, if we had their money, we might. But uh, no. He he was an amazing character, Keith Moon, wasn't he? A few he was. Pranks. Yeah, <laughs> he's a madman. Yeah. Just, I mean, how how can you describe Keith Moon in just a few words? I mean, he's uh, people call him lunatic, but he was, they mean it in a loving way, you know. He's he was a lunatic drummer. He was he was fantastic. I mean, he is the ultimate rock drummer. I mm -hmm. mean, I think everybody in the Who is the ultimate in their parts. You know, John Entwistle's a fantastic bass player. You c cannot argue with that. Pete Townsend, um, the world's greatest rhythm guitarist. I don't. I mean, some could dispute me calling him a rhythm guitarist, but I mean, he, he's just the, he's fantastic. And and Mooney, everybody tries to outdo each other. The, the drummer tries to play louder than the guitar player. The guitar player tries to play louder than the bass player, and the singer's shouting over everything. So I mean, and somehow it comes together and comes out as the Who. Mm. So it's a good thing. Yeah. I remember uh, a number of years ago interviewing the bootleg Beatles, who are probably the the right, Beatles so tribute band. So. And they're, they're they're really good. I mean, they're, they're, actually, I think they've been around about the same sort of Is time right? as you. You know, it was yeah. early eighties, um, but they they played a gig um, quite a long time ago now. I forget. I think it was somebody like Dave Gilmore from Pink Floyd's birthday party. You know, it was oh, right. oh, that yeah, kind yeah. of level. And they they discovered uh, that George Harrison was actually there. You no. know, <laughs> so uh, I forget the guy's name who does George, but you know, he's obviously a bit. You yeah. know, but apparently yeah. George, George came up afterwards and and sort of said, actually, I didn't you didn't quite do that right, and, and was right. really nice and gave them uh, you know a, f a few little.